The tugboat, for its size, is the most powerful craft afloat. And the star tugs are the power behind the docks and waterways that make up the big city port. This is Tugs. It was the year of the big heat wave. Old sailors like me will never forget it. Many incoming ships had sickness aboard and flew the yellow flag to show they needed medical examination for possible infectious disease. Now, if this proved correct, they had to stay at anchor out of port and fly the checkered flag showing they were in quarantine for 40 days and warning all shipping to stay clear. By 6.30 on this morning, it was already feeling hot and, oh, tempers were getting short. If the sun gets any stronger today, my varnish will bubble for certain. It's the longest heat wave I can remember. And you go back to the Ice Age, O.J., by the sound of your engine. Burke and Blair, the evil-minded scrap dealers, were always on the lookout for old ships they could buy up cheap. <laughs> They'd already made me an offer for old O.J. That's made us late, sunshine. Ah, oh, it's not how I thought the wizard. I mean, all those... 6 30s briefing time. Sorry, Captain. We've been at the water docks. You know, the scrapyard dealers are looking for useless tugs, don't you? Now, next time you're late, I'll ask them what they'll offer for a couple of switches, understand? Yes, Captain, but... Uh, ten cents. OJ's engine's playing up. He's at the far station picking up your barge. Huh? Now, if he's all right, join the others waiting for schooners and trampers getting clearance from quarantine. Understand, Captain. One for you, Sunshine. Bring in the tramper, Nantucket. Oh, dirt bucket. No wisecracks. Just get moving. He wouldn't really sell us for scrap, would he? No, he's really like every day. Uh, no, not anyway. OJ was now the only paddle-driven tug left in Big City Port. He'd given many years of good service, but time was catching up on him. My engine feels bad. Come on, Firebars, let's hope I can get you to the ferry pier. Burke and Blair listened to his spluttering engine with pleasure. The heat wave had gone on far too long for all of us, but yet another steamy day got hotter and hotter as the sun climbed higher in the sky. Work had to go on in spite of the heat. The Fulton Ferry still had to ply back and forth all day across the harbor carrying vehicles and freight on a regular timetable. The day had started out like any other, absolutely routine, but this was the trip when things were different. OJ saw the motorboat speeding towards him, but didn't realize that it was out of control and going fast. Plenty of time, boy, or I'll be out of your way. The motorboat suddenly veered towards them. OJ reversed his engines just in time to avoid it crashing into him. Ah, you fool! You're exceeding the speed limit! His engine didn't respond as he wanted it to, and he started to spin to starboard. His barge swung out and hit the ferry. Oh, no! The ferry boat started to list, water rushing into a gaping hole. My engine's jammed! A ten cents! Oh, thank heaven you're here. What a very sinking, OJ. I I'll try and get a line on her. Tow her back to the pier. No, no, don't! She's gonna go all the way down. Oh, I'll have to try. It's the only chance before she goes right under. You'll never make it alone. We both might if I can get my engine going properly. How oh, many times if I don't cut and start, I need a new one. I've got a line on her. But, but I can't pull Cast her. off ten cents. She's going down fast. She is. 
What happened? Well, don't go. Go and get the emergency services fast as you can. Uh, right. Burke and Blair had a second go at me. Ah, oh, they never give up. Ah, uh, Captain Star. What? About OG, that ancient engine of his is finished, and so is he. Isn't he, Mr. Barrett? We don't sit around our breaker's yard watching our staff turn old boats into scrap, do we, Mr. Blair? Always on the lookout for who's next to go. That's our business and OJ's top of our list. The ferry boat had sunk right in the port, so the emergency services were there in no time. She lay on the bottom, not many fathoms down. The cranes had already got their grapples onto her. Ted Sense tried to explain what had happened to the fire chief. She hit your station barge, chief. Right. Leave it to us. We'll want reports from you later. She's lying fairly level on the sandy bed. All yours, mighty mo. <laughs> Nothing ever seemed to happen in big city port without some of the Zet stacks turning up and being no help at all. Well, 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 just what have we got here? A sinking ferry and a clapped-out paddler. Another efficient star manoeuvre, eh? <laughs> Dead clumsy, if you ask me. Yeah, no one's asking you, though, are they? Took some doing that. All those lovely cars, too. Shame. Yeah, pity we weren't passing earlier. We could have got you out of trouble. We'd have towed her in before she went down, <laughs> wouldn't we, Zorin? Sure we would. No point hanging about now, though. We've got other fish to fry. Zorin was delighted that two of the star tugs would not be in competition for quarantine work. But it seemed no ships were being cleared at present. Needn't have rushed. We're still waiting. We left as soon as the ferry was refloated. I had a bit of an accident. So we saw. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't my fault. It was that mad speedboat. <laughs> so you say. <laughs> oh, good. Here comes the Coast Guard. If you're waiting for clearance on the schooners, forget it. They're quarantined. Oh, no. What? Suspected microbonic plague aboard. Sorry, fellas. Captain Star will be pleased. I don't think. To think how I flogged my engine to get here fast. And all for no purpose, it turns out. Well, I think I'll go take a look-see anyway. You're not going back, then? Uh, Zug, maybe. I'll mosey around here, see if there's a breeze out in the estuary. Hey, don't you need me, Zorin? Push off, Zug. Oh, OK, Zorin. He's up to something. Now, I'd like to know what. You know, I never trusted that Zorin. Ah, oh, but Sunshine's gone out to bring in a tram park. Ah, uh, Zorin will know about it for sure. He wouldn't try and take it off him, would he? Of course the villain would. Who'd see him do it out there? Right then. Ten cents. You and I'll go and see fair play. Aye, aye, sir. Well, I don't know. I do believe they see themselves as Sir Francis Drake. Sunshine was wise not to go right alongside. The yellow flag told him that the tramper hadn't yet been examined for infection. Those bugs must be all over the place. Wait a minute, that's funny. How's he got clearance? Where's the coast guard? You! Give me a tow, hey! Uh, who, me? Uh, no, I've, uh, I've got another job to do, Dirt Bucket. Uh, sorry, I mean Nantucket. <laughs> Something's fishy here. I'm not risking it, not me. Sunshine was right. No tug can risk being quarantined alongside an infected boat for 40 days. <laughs> Forget them. Unclean. Ugh. Ahoy, Sunshine! What's new out there? You? Nothing I know of. 
<laughs> Don't tell me you've come all this way for nothing. No, no, I am working, Zorin. You've nothing in tow? Nothing on deck? Working at what? Well, you see, I was, uh, it's secret work. <laughs> secret? <laughs> you mean you went out for the old tramper and found it's waiting for clearance? What secret about that? Well, if I told you, then it wouldn't be a secret, would it? Ah. Fortunately for Sunshine, OJ and Tencent's arrived. Problem, Sunshine? Well, more like a mystery to me, anyway. Dirt Bucket was flying a yellow flag. I hope you didn't get alongside. Well, I was tempted. You see, it was pulled down just as I got there. So, <laughs> it's been cleared, I see. That's your secret. Right, it's mine. No, no, it's not. Not if I get there first, it isn't. Hey, stop! Come back! Stop, Tencent! Stop! Stop! Why, oh, oh, what's the panic? Oh, now that we've done to your engine, going at that speed. The Trumper will be awaiting examination. Or is quarantined, one or the other. No, oh, Sunshine saw the flag come down. That means he's cleared. Did you see a Coast Guard cutter alongside Sunshine? Uh, no, no, but the flag did come down. Or a port authority, or a customs boat. Oh, your engine's gone, OJ. That's very serious for you. D never mind me. It could have been very serious for both of you. How you are you, OJ? You could have been quarantined. We've given Zeds the contract on a plate. As Nantucket wasn't flying a flag, Zoran pulled alongside. Meanwhile, the two star switchers towed the old paddle tug back to the star pier, both a little sad because they knew what this could mean for OJ. Broke it down again. He put on max speed, Captain, to save me from quarantine. Uh, my engine's only good for scrap, Captain. We all know that. Oh, uh, you're right there. And I'm afraid, OJ, for you it means... What's that about quarantine, Tencent? Well, if it hadn't been for OJ, I could have been in quarantine now. Out of action for 40 days. I you see if 10 cents, Captain, it's true. Don't go on about that. Yes, don't. You'll have me in tears. But honestly, Captain, you've got to believe us. We're only reporting the facts. Very commendable, but it's one side of the facts, isn't it? Ahoy, Captain Stowe, sir. Can we again offer our services? We happen to see the subject of our previous visit being towed in. Old OJ. <laughs> in a worse state than ever, wouldn't you say, Mr Blair? Finished, you could say. For a quick sale, let's say 150. That's not for OJ. Cam, you can't sell him. I'm not going to. He's not for sale. Now go. Oh, well, if that's your attitude, you fork out for engine and refit. See if we care. Ten cents, tow OJ to Lucky's yard. New engine, complete refit. Yes, sir, Captain Star, sir. Yeah, right, at once, sir. Thanks, Captain. They'll see you'll never regret it. Sunshine, he doesn't need your help. We've got to make money to pay for this. Now, uh... Get on with your garbage collecting right away. Uh, yes, Captain Star, sir. At once. <laughs> hey, hey, Nantucket. I left you with your quarantine flags up. Where are they, eh? Eh? You're breaking the law. You're under arrest. Get those flags up again and fast. What's this? I didn't know he was quarantined, officer. No flags are flying at all, as you just saw. Well, that's your bad luck, Zoran. Whether you knew or not makes no difference. You're infected. But I'm innocent. I'm completely innocent. I'll... Get quarantine flags up right now, Zoran. You're a real villain, Dirt Bucket, know that? I wanted to get into port, didn't I? Yeah, and now I might get microbonic plague. Mr. Burke, I think there might be some spots on Zoran. I think you're right, Mr. Blair. We'll come back and check for rust later. <laughs> Ten cents would have been in quarantine if it hadn't been for OJ, and OJ would have been scrapped if it hadn't been for Ten cents. As for Zoran, <laughs> he saw out his full turn.